Hey there, what is going on my friends? In this video, I want to show you a package or actually it's a WordPress theme called Lara-ish. And what this allows you to do is it gives you the power of Laravel inside of a WordPress theme. So if you've been doing web development, there's no way around it. You're gonna have to use WordPress one way or another. And uh, some people hate it, some people love it. I've been working with WordPress for a long time and then I eventually moved over to Laravel and that's my main PHP framework. So it's nice if you have familiarity with Laravel to have the power of Laravel inside of a WordPress theme. And that is exactly what this GitHub repo offers. So I'm gonna show you how to install this and get it all set up on your machine. So first thing we want to do is we want to obviously download a fresh copy of WordPress. Okay, and after we've done that, we can go ahead and just paste this into our sites folder. Oh, that did not work. Let's go back to those downloads, put that in the sites folder. Okay, so inside of our sites folder, we have the WordPress folder that I'm going to rename Lara-ish. Okay, so we have a WordPress enabled. Let's go ahead and create a new database. I'm going to add a new database and just call this Lara-ish. And after I've done that, I can go ahead and open up my WP config and add my database credentials. Actually, we need to rename the WP config sample. So we will do that there and the database name Lara-ish and my user is root and empty password. Okay, so if we go to Lara-ish.test, then we can set up our WordPress install. John Doe, I'm just gonna set a password as password. Yes, confirm that weak password. Oh, you must provide an email. John Doe at gmail.com. Good enough. Okay. So now we have our WordPress install. Go to Larish.test and it has the default theme, which I've, it's been a while since I've actually worked with WordPress, so I don't know what their default theme looks like, but this is it right here. And we can go to our WP admin and log in with our username and our password. Okay, so now that we have WordPress installed, we can now install our Laravel WordPress theme. So if we come to this repo, and I will post this below the video, we can go ahead and scroll down and see how we can install this. And it says that we can do composer create project, and we can run this command and then the theme that we want to name it, and we're just gonna name it Lara-ish. So if we go into the WP content folder, and we go into the themes folder, Okay, so now we want to run this command inside of our themes folder, and we're going to call our theme Lara-ish. So after we have done that, we can then go ahead and go back to our code editor, and inside of our themes folder, we have this new theme called Lara-ish. And if we explore the contents of that folder, you can see that it looks like a Laravel application. So if you're familiar with Laravel, this will seem very familiar. And you can see you can go to resources views and you have all the goodies that you expect with Laravel inside of a WordPress theme. So let's go ahead and enable this theme. And the first thing is first, we can look at the style.css and this is where you will change your theme name, uh, the author and just information about the custom Laravel theme that you are creating. So now if we go back to our admin, appearance and themes, we now have this new theme right here that we can say activate. And then we go back to the home page, and you can see that it just has a Lara-ish, kind of looks like the splash page or the home page for a blank Laravel app. But check this out. We can go inside of our routes, web.php, and you can see if we scroll down here, the home will link to this specific controller and method. And we have the single page 404, and the specific page. So 
what we could do here is we could create any route. So I could say, this is awesome. And I could even pass that a closure and then echo out Laravel rocks. So now if we go to our application slash, what I say, this is awesome, then we do not get that page. And what is going on there? Let me see. So, okay, that's actually just going to the home route. So we have to, I think they actually say it up here that we need to put any routes that we want to be created above these routes right here. So let's try this again. We go back, we reload, and now you can see that we have just hit a Laravel route and echoed out the contents. And the cool thing is if you look at the home controller or even the single controller right here, so let's say generic slash single, this will then load a single post. So somebody can create a new post. Uh, you can then go to your resources views, generic single, and you can customize the way the single post page looks. And uh, you can pull in all the stuff that you would you really like with Laravel inside of Webpack using Tailwind, you can use Alpine, you can use everything that you normally use inside of Laravel inside of a WordPress theme. So the content and marketing team want to use WordPress and you're trying to persuade them like, hey, maybe we should you know, check out Laravel. That's what I'm really familiar with. Uh, but they're really comfortable with WordPress, so they get the final say and you unfortunately have to work with WordPress. But now with this theme, you can actually use the power of Laravel and all the awesome features that Laravel provides inside of a WordPress theme. So the content team is happy because they're using WordPress and you are happy as a developer because you are using Laravel.